The U.S. will have an anti-gravity airplane. Moscow and Beijing should already be worried. With the beginning of the Russian aggression against Ukraine, even the most inveterate optimists collapsed all hopes that the intimate reorganization of the world at the beginning of the third millennium AD would be peaceful. Nope, everything will be decided on the battlefield as usual. And if so, then it's necessary to prepare for this battle, to create more and more perfect weapons, preferably one that the enemy has no analogs of. One of these breakthrough military technologies could be the creation of an anti-gravity hypersonic airplane. In this video, we'll try to understand what should be an anti-gravity airplane and whether it's developed. We promise it'll be interesting. Rumors about the development of an anti-gravity aircraft have been circulating since the 1980s. These rumors have faded and then flared up again. The latest powerful surge of public interest in the anti-gravity airplane project occurred in 2014. On the evening of November 29th of the year, residents in the southern parts of the UK and on the east coast of the United States were startled by a strange noise. People heard a series of loud sounds that sounded like gunfire or explosions. Soon a recording of the noise made by a London resident using a cell phone was published on the internet. The exact reasons for its appearance are still unknown, because of which there are a variety of versions. And the most interesting of them is the flight of the mysterious project of the U.S. Air Force Aurora. Here, the media reminded their readers that earlier, repeatedly, witnesses in the sky observed strange flying machines in the form of a huge black wing. Some considered it a UFO, but others said that aliens had nothing to do with it, and it was a test of a top-secret U.S. airplane. For example, in March 2006, journalist Nick Cook showed an image of an inversion trail that began in Nevada and stretched across the Atlantic Ocean. But the airplane that left this trace was not on the image. Experts said it was an inversion trail left by a ballistic missile. In Southern California, sensors of the Geologic Service recorded a series of unusual sonic booms, except that the source of the strange sound was not underground but high in the sky. Record Service analyzed the former NASA expert and concluded that a powerful sonic boom created an aircraft that flew at an altitude of 27 kilometers, while its speed was almost 4,500 miles per hour, or 7,000 kilometers an hour. The description sounds like a spaceship, but there were no launches that day. Then there are two options, either aliens dropped by or a brand new aircraft flew over California. Ubiquitous journalists, literally interrogating their sources in the Pentagon, shared the extracted information. Yes, indeed, we're talking about the top-secret TR-3B Black Manta airplane of the Aurora Project. Some technical features of this airplane became known. TR-3B Black Manta may receive a combined engine with turbojet straight-through circuits. The latter, at hypersonic, should work in the mode of pulsating combustion of fuel similar to explosions and provide speed 10 to 15 times higher than the speed of sound at an altitude of 35 to 36 kilometers above the ground. But most importantly, the airplane will have an anti-gravity device that turns a multi-ton machine literally into a fluff ball. This requires a huge amount of energy. Therefore, on board the TR-3B Black Manta will be placed in compact nuclear reactor. There's no data on the aerodynamics of the secret airplane yet. In shape, it somewhat resembles the infamous F-117, which flew a little bit better than a brick, but with a speed of 37,000 kilometers an hour and a ceiling of 27 kilometers, it doesn't matter anymore. Probably many of our viewers of the word anti-gravity will think that this is nonsense, a fantasy. The mankind will not soon be able to conquer gravity and, in general, whether to conquer. After all, the presence of gravity is a fundamental property of any material body, but let's remember that in the 19th century, submarines were considered science fiction. So Jules Verne, with his novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which described the submarine Nautilus, made a furor in the then society. But a century has passed, and now huge, the size of two soccer fields and the height of a 10-story house, nuclear submarines did not surprise anyone. And since the days of Jules Verne, technological progress has accelerated. So why should mankind not come close to anti-gravity technologies? By the way, the internet has already appeared with descriptions of the circuit diagram of anti-gravity devices. They don't violate any physical principles, and in general, nothing fantastic.
no screens from gravitational waves and similar exotics. The anti-gravity device is a ring gas pedal collider in which rotating mercury vapor is heated to a very high temperature of several thousand degrees. At this temperature, the vapors enter a plasma state, i.e. an ionized gas that's a mixture of negative electrons and positive mercury ions. Accelerating these ions to sublight speeds, the collider initiates in this vortex a giant ring of electric current in millions of amperes. But as we know, even from a high school physics textbook, the circular current generates a magnetic field whose vector is directed perpendicular to the plane of rotation of the current. This magnetic field interacts with the magnetic field of the Earth and repels from it. So much for anti-gravity. Some of our viewers may think that having a nuclear reactor on board we can do without anti-gravity, and they'd be wrong. Have you ever wondered why an airplane is more economical than a rocket? After all, as passengers we fly on airplanes, the point is that an airplane uses the air of the Earth for flight, both as a fuel component and as a source of lift. The air is free, no one has to pay for it. May environmentalists forgive us for saying that. The anti-gravity engines use the energy of the Earth's electromagnetic field, and this is a more powerful source of energy. Of course, this is a very rough description of the principle of operation of an anti-gravity device. In reality, everything is much more complicated. It's known that the four patents that make up the core technology of the TR-3B, including the anti-gravity actuator and energy source, were submitted to the U.S. Patent Office by Salvador Pius a physicist working for the U.S. Navy in August 2020. Anti-gravity is of great interest to both the military and scientists. Given that, for example, one could hypothetically reduce the mass of an airplane using electromagnetic propulsion even to zero. Not surprisingly, researchers like NASA, the U.S. Air Force, and Lockheed Martin have invested in theoretical research regarding the ability to alter inert mass. According to experts, the TR-3B Black Manta would use conventional engines located at the ends of the aircraft, allowing it to perform a dizzying number of fast, high-speed maneuvers, including perfect right-angle turns and super acceleration, and it could accomplish this on all three fronts. An interesting byproduct of the plasma produced by the TR-3B is that it significantly reduces the aircraft's radar signature, making it ideal for missions where stealth is paramount. This means that the TR-3B Black Manta can penetrate virtually any airspace in any country and will not be detected by air traffic control or air defense systems. By the way, the presence of a nuclear reactor on board the TR-3B Black Manta with its huge energy reserve will allow this aircraft to be easily armed with laser weapons. After all, it's already known that Lockheed Martin delivered its high-energy laser weapon Lance to the U.S. Air Force in early 2022. According to many experts, TR-3B Black Manta is the black triangle flying in the sky, numerous reports of which came from people who observed it over the Antelope Valley, an area of the desert in Southern California, very favorite with UFO watchers. By the way, note that this black triangle has only been seen in two countries, the US and the UK, which is the closest ally of the US. Why would it be that UFOs have such an interest exclusively in these two countries? After all, a lot of interesting things can be seen at secret military facilities in Russia and China. Let's not forget that the Antelope Valley is located near several well-known military research and testing sites, including Edwards Air Force Base and U.S. Air Force Plant 42. The latter is only 60 miles or 97 kilometers from downtown Los Angeles. Currently, the U.S. government denies the existence of such an airplane, but can officials be believed? Recall that the U-2 spy plane from the 1950s, the SR-71 jet from the 1980s, and the modern low-observable F-117A are just three examples of aircraft whose existence the U.S. Air Force has denied for years, all of which were first developed in secret at the infamous Area 51 base in Nevada. And let's not forget that Area 51 itself was only finally recognized by the U.S. government when that most secretive agency, the CIA, did so in June 2013, thanks to a Freedom of Information Act request filed eight years earlier. But here comes the logical question. Is it possible to hide such a fantastic airplane? This machine is seen by hundreds of people every day, engineers, mechanics, soldiers guarding the base, and even the janitors. Somebody should post a story on Instagram. But the Americans already have experience in such matters, when the famous Lockheed SR-71, unofficially named Blackbird, was put into operation, 
the military base was kept 100% secret. The airplane was constantly in the hangar where it was allowed in by a special protocol. When the airplane was rolled outside, the siren was activated and all the personnel of the base lay face down, covered their heads with their hands, and closed their eyes. They lay like that until the plane left. Don't believe the U.S. government is forced not only because it's been repeatedly accused of lying about other secret airplanes, and not only that, the Black Flying Triangle has seen many people, but also more concrete facts. Meticulous journalists managed to unearth that the U.S. budget for 1985 indicated that $455 million was spent on the Aurora secret aviation project. In 1986, the funding continued, and in 87 too. In total, about $700 million went to Aurora. And in the 90s, there was a wave of UFO reports. Maybe the funding continues now, but they just changed the name of the project. In any case, the U.S. is in dire need of breakthrough military technologies to retain the title of superpower number one in the world. So why not allocate money for these breakthrough technologies? On the aggregate of all the facts, everything says that the TR-3B Black Manta does exist. Another question is how close the real this airplane is to what journalists and us in this video imagine it to be. What do you think? Does the Aurora exist or not? Write about it in your comments. Also, please don't forget to reward this video with a like for our labors and subscribe to our channel. There will be many more interesting videos about modern weapons.